The fight coming up with Dominic is an uh, opportunity that I've been waiting for my whole life. It's for a world championship. I'm at my most competitive weight at 135 pounds, and it's against a guy that I don't really like very much. Dominic and Uriah have actually fought before a couple years ago. Um, in fact, Dom Dominic's only loss is to Uriah Faber. Four weeks out for Faber, it doesn't matter. Six weeks out, eight weeks out, the guy does not get tired. He's a genetic freak, got a big old muscle gut. I don't know what he's doing, but, you know, it's working. Four weeks out, it's more, you know, it's all about peaking. It's all about tightening everything up, your diet, bringing the weight down. So it, it's an all-out attack on every, you know, every area that you need to sharpen up for that one day. He's really focused because of how much hype's kind of on the fight, and it's a UFC title. So he's got four weeks coming up, and I've seen him. He's really mentally prepared. Um, we're going through technique every day just for Cruz, and favors a real good game plan. He makes really good game plans for the fight, and I think he's got Cruz figured out. Training's not too different. You know, it's, it's the same that I've done for other fights. I'm getting down to uh, shorter and harder goes. Since he trains constantly and stays in shape constantly, um, this is more of his final approach into the fight. And uh, uh, in four weeks, we're going to decide who the champion is, and hopefully it'll be Uriah, and it's going to be a great fight. You know, skill-wise, I think they're pretty. I mean, it's a great matchup. It's close. It's right on the line. But when it comes to a battle of wills, uh, nobody beats Faber in that. I think he's going to make it that point in the fight where it comes, you know, who wants it more, and, and nobody beats Faber there, so I'm pretty confident. I feel like I'm the guy to beat Dominic, and I've done it once before. This is... Uh, my belt, and I'm ready to grab it. Connect for Xbox 360.